name's Dan, I'm from Hope Technology and I'm here to show you how to bleed a Hope brake. Um, for this process you're going to need uh, a set of Allen keys, a T10 Torx, uh, a flat bladed screwdriver, um, an 8mm spanner, uh, some DOT 5.1 fluid, some kind of isopropyl alcohol cleaner spray just to clean away any excess um, dot fluid and we are going to use our new easy bleed tool um, you don't need it to do the process but it does make it a lot easier we've also got a rag and for good practice as well uh, some gloves as well just for keep the dot fluid off your skin because it's not the nicest so before you start bleeding the brake you kind of want to set uh, your bike up i've taken the front wheel out i've kept the pads in um, and basically I've got the bar like this in the stand so it's edged up a bit and the bars are turned. It's basically just to get this lever so it's uh, flat. Um, obviously you want that to be flat so the fluid will be level in the lever. Um, so once you've got it set up kind of like this, there are a few ways you can do it, this is the best way I find, a toe strap along there. And then you're also on your lever, you're going to need to wind all the bike point all the way out and the reach as well, so basically the levers at its fully extended position um, and that's basically going to enable the most amount of fluid into the system as well. So once you've got it set up, you can begin the bleeding process. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to remove the top caps with your T10 driver. These shouldn't be uh, too tight or anything like that, they should just come off fairly easily. So just wind them off. And then once that's off, you want to remove the diaphragm as well. And as you can see, like that's, if you look in, the fluid is level. It's not like pushed up against one side or the other side. So you want to make sure it's level. So we are now going to put our easy bleed tool on. So this is just like a top cap really. You just put that on and then just with some the same bolts. You can use the same bolts or you will get different bolts with the kit. Just put that on. So once that's on, so you don't need to tighten those on like really tight or anything, just so they're nipped up. Then you're gonna wanna just wind the, the easy bleed tool on. So basically this just means you can store a lot more fluid. Um, in the bleeding process, you basically push fluid down and bleed it through so if you didn't have the kit on you'd have to keep filling up every like three three pumps of the lever whereas if you've got the tool you can obviously fill it a lot more and it's just it saves a lot of time backwards and forth and it's just a lot easier so remove the little plug you've got and then you can just basically fill this with dot fluid because then now I'm probably not going to need to use any more fluid, whereas if I didn't have that, I'd have to keep filling it up. So now once you've got the lever set up, you can then move to the caliper side. First, you're going to want to remove the rubber bleed nipple. Put your 8mm onto the, the bleed port, and then basically you want uh, a bit of hose or a bit, just a bit of tube with our bleeding tool on the end. Push that on. Just make sure that the bleed bot opens. So once that's all done, just make sure everything's, that's on fine. Obviously that spills off, it can spill onto your caliper and then into your pads. Making sure that it's going directly into somewhere. And the basic start of the bleeding process, you're gonna open up the bleed port pump the lever and then close it and then release. So open, pump, close and then release. If you just had it open and we're pumping the lever, you can see it, it shoots back into the, le into the caliper. So pump, close and then release. And you'll see that there's, there'll be pockets of air coming out into the hose. I'm going to say, if you didn't have the easy bleed tool, you would have already had to fill the top of the lever up about four or five times, so it's just a lot, it's a lot easier. 
Once you've done that a few times, there's not any air coming out through the hose. What you want, you can do is you can just push, push the lever. Obviously, the the pads in the middle are stopping it from uh, from the pistons falling out or anything like that. So you can get a good feel for the brake. If the brake feels solid now, then the bleeding process is done. There's no air in it. It's fine. Uh, what you can do is using your flat bladed screwdriver, anything else really, something that's not too sharp because you don't want to damage any pistons or pads. You just pump the lever and basically just push the pistons out so they're all exposed on one side. So all the pads are over to one side and the pistons on this side are all the way out. Then want to just back the bleed pot off and then push the pistons back and that'll basically get any trapped air that could be behind the pistons out. So if you push the pistons back like that, so you've been very careful not to damage the pistons because that's the last thing you want. And repeat the process, but obviously the other side. So just hold the pads like that, pump the lever, and you can get a good idea if the lever's spongy there's obviously air trapped somewhere, and more often than not, it can just be a little pocket behind the pistons that when you bleed in the hose and bleed in the brake, it's not going to come out, so you just need to do this process. So back it off again. So very carefully, just push the pistons back like that, and then repeat the first process again, just pumping the brake through. Like that, just double check you're not running out of fluids, which we're fine. Once you've done that a few times, pump, pump the brake, and you should get, if you've got a solid feel, then it's fine. Um, you can then make sure that's locked off. Carefully remove the bleed, the bleeding hose. Obviously, you don't want to spill any of that fluid onto your pads. Put that to one side. Make sure that's locked off. And then you do want to just roll the end of your rag really fine and just put that into there because there will be some fluid in there so that just gets rid of any excess. Reattach the rubber bleed port. And that's it, you're done at the caliper side, then we can finish off, off at the lever side. Um, so once you're done at the caliper, we're gonna move up to the lever. Once we've finished bleeding, you're happy finished bleeding, you wanna basically put the, the rubber bung back into the easy bleed tool, just so when you unscrew it, it's not gonna leak fluid everywhere. You wanna put that to one side. And then you're also going to remove the top cap. Once you've removed uh, your easy bleed uh, cap off, you just want to get some blue roll or a rag. Just place that under the lever because we're going to push the pistons back, which will force uh, some fluid up. So just with your flat blade screwdriver again, just carefully push the pistons back like that. Like that, make sure the pistons are all the way back. And you can see that the, obviously fluid's pushed up a lot now. That's perfectly level. Just check for any bubbles in there, and if there are any, you can just wipe them off with your finger. Uh, final step is putting your diaphragm back on. So you're going to want to get your diaphragm, place it in at the back first and just let it roll on and just sit in, just gently press it down. You don't want to just kind of go straight down because it's going to force a lot of fluid out. Um, so you want to basically get as much fluid in the system as you can. So just gently roll it on, just push it down with your finger ever so slightly. Place the top cap and screws on. These don't need to be 
really tight or you're not going to get them off again. So just, just nip them up, obviously making sure that they are secure. Then whilst the rag, you've still got the rag underneath, just wipe away any excess fluid. Then with your cleaning spray and a different rag, spray a bit of cleaner on and just wipe it away. Wipe any excess fluid away. You don't want it on your, on your shifter or on your grip or on your lever blade as well, because that'll be quite slippy. So just wipe it off like that. And then basically you're ready to uh, centralize your caliper um, and set your brake up and then get out riding.